Tavers, welcome to my shop. This is kind of a special upgrade and maintenance video. On the web, there's been a lot of talk about uh, generators, and that has to do with needing to run air conditioners and stuff for people that are doing boondocking. Uh, we all recognize this typical um, generator. It's a Sears Craftsman. It's 2,400 watts. Um, I can plug my trailer into this 30 amp outlet and I can run anything I want in there. Um, it's obvious. But the question comes up, uh, if you don't want to run your air conditioner, can you bring one of these little dinky uh, generators um, and use it just to charge a battery? So there's been lots of discussion about Instead of plugging this big generator in, can I just take this with me and uh, use it to charge my battery? Run from my battery. When my battery gets low, plug this in and let this charge the battery. Um, yes, you can do that, but people want to know how long would it take? Well, this is a good little generator. It's an Onan K650. It runs 550 watts continuous. Now, these guys are great. The big dudes are great, but they're backbreakers and they run a lot of fuel the whole shot. This guy, all total, he's one foot wide, one foot tall, 16 inches, uh, 16 inches and long, um, runs just a little dinky bit of fuel, really quiet and only 17 pounds, even full of fuel. I like that a lot. So there's been a lot of question about, can we carry this with us and just run from battery? As long as we don't want to run our air conditioner, how long will it take to charge? So today we're going to do a test. My trailer outside has a 100 amp hour lithium ion battery. It has an 8740 lithium ion converter. So it knows how to charge a lithium ion battery. And I have run that battery down. I've spent the last couple days run my battery down to about, about 56%. About halfway down so we're gonna connect this guy to my trailer and we're gonna see how long it takes using a Victron um, smart shunt to show and see and measure just how long it's gonna take this little guy at 550 watts to charge my uh, battery so let's get at it let's okay. go on out so here we are I have the generator sitting outside my trailer I'm sitting on a board so it won't uh, vibrate around and have any kind of trouble. I've got my 20 amp to 30 amp dog bone and I've got my cable running into my trailer. Inside the trailer, I have my Victron app and it is, hopefully we can see this, it is 2.59 in the afternoon. My battery is at 54%. And right now I've got the typical 0.14 amps of parasitic draw on my uh, on my battery. It's um, not nothing's turned on. This is just the radio and the TV being in standby, the Aldi being in standby and stuff. But everything's turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to fire up that generator, plug it in, and we'll come in here and take a look. And we're going to watch. It's 2.59 at 3 o'clock. We'll see how this thing is uh, running. How many hours does it take to charge to 100%? So let's get at it. Okay, here we've got our generator running. I like that little guy, nice and quiet. Let's go on in and see what we've got for uh, power. Okay, to there we go. We've got 10.2 amps. We're at 54% and it's 3.03 in the afternoon. All right, we'll let it run for an hour and we'll be back. 
very, very nice. Let's see if we can watch that tick up one more time. But, yep, 10.6 amps. Cool. Let's see where we go with this. We'll be back in okay, about an hour. Here we are at about an hour later, four o'clock. We're now at 60%. Um, the charger has bumped down from 10 amps down to seven. So it's moved out of bulk mode into just charge mode. So um, we're going up about almost 10%, uh, about 10% an hour. So we'll check on an, another hour. See you in a bit. Okay, it's just uh, just after five o'clock and we're at 69%. Interesting thing here I want you to look at. See that charging current? That is 6.40 amps. So we're doing about 10% an hour. The battery, the charger has flipped down to uh, out of bulk mode and it's providing uh, 6 point, 6 point three five, a little over six and, a, six and a third amps. But I want you to see something cool here. We're gonna go to the generator. We're gonna turn that guy off. I'm gonna unplug him. I wanna plug him into regular 30 amp street power. And we're gonna go back in the thing. And remember, from the generator, it was running 6.38, 6.38 amps of charging. So we look here, look at that. 6.73, 7062. Five, eight, going down. So the important thing here is that one, I'm getting about 10% an hour, right? That's what the numbers are showing. But I charge at the same rate when I'm plugged into street power as I charge when I'm on here. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the winning ticket right there is that the converter that's in my trailer, that converter charges just as fast when it's plugged into a little 550 watt um, generator as it does when it's plugged into street power. So that's the proof you need. A little generator, 550 watt, will charge any battery you've got um, just as fast on the generator as it does on street power. So whatever your battery is charging, um, what, however long it takes you to charge while you're plugged into street power is how long it's gonna take you to plug into your generator. You don't need a 2000 watt generator. You need something about 550 watts. Um, and that's all the converter needs to charge the battery. And that's what it's doing right now. Let's go back in, one final look. There we go, 6.21 amps. So it charges no faster when plugged into street power or that generator. So I'm gonna save some gas instead of running this thing until it's 100%. But number one, we get about 10% an hour. And two, um, it charges just as fast from the generator as it does from the street power. So anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little test. Uh, we'll wrap this video up and post it. Hope this helps you. Thanks. Bye-bye.